DLS TV. What's up, YouTube? I want to do this video in response to Ticket TV's video that he did this morning. First, I want to say I appreciate everybody, all your likes, all your subscription. Uh, y'all keep on liking these videos. Y'all keep commenting. And show YouTube that you know this is a serious channel. Let's grow it. Let's grow it. Let's grow it. Uh, I saw the brother Ticket TV did a video, man, today. He was talking about comparing Kobe Bryant to Michael Jordan. I kind of talked about this in the last live stream I did. It, that was part of the live stream when I was jogging around the park. And I kind of mentioned this a little bit. And I kind of want to respond to a few points that he made uh, with the one he did today. It was about like three hours. But I'm not going to go that long. <laughs> But uh, he, he mentioned that he's got Michael Jordan over Kobe Bryant. Uh, and he was talking about the very reason that he does. And, you know, like the Detroit Pistons series, he holds that against Kobe. And, like, when you look at the totality of the body of work. Uh, and he agreed with me when I always say that I believe Kobe Bryant took Michael Jordan's style. And I think he perfected and became a better shooter than Michael Jordan. I think he's a better free throw shooter, better shooter. Uh, I think he's right neck and neck defensively, but I do have Michael Jordan a, a tad bit better as it pertains to his his because y'all y'all know Kobe was a was an outright killer. Kobe Bryant is my favorite basketball player of all time. Like, that I love more than anything in life and death. He is the greatest basketball player. When he died, I cried. I mean, my my eyes out. I was just so sad because I knew we we're never gonna see another player like that. But when I, when I look at it, I got to be honest, as much as I love Kobe, I got to put Michael Jordan a little bit over him. That's why I call Kobe Bryant the Coco. Y'all know me. <laughs> I got him Coco. I got him right neck and neck with Michael Jordan, but I got to give Michael Jordan a slight edge, a, a slight edge. You know, I don't want to, but I got to, you know, I grew up a Michael Jordan fan. Me and see, Kobe Bryant is the same age as I am. So, you know, he loved Michael. I love Michael. Everybody who really understood and knew basketball, you know, could look at the eye just by the eye test. I'm not, forget the championships. I remember when I first saw Michael Jordan play basketball. I said, "This is the greatest basketball player I've ever seen." And this was before he won a championship. Uh, but I, but I was listening to the video and I, I, I agree with a lot of what they were saying. The only thing I disagree, Ticket TV's got the same. His top three are the same as mine. He got uh, Michael Jordan. He got Kobe. He got uh, Kareem. Oh, he's got Michael Jordan first, Kareem second, Kobe. I got Michael number one, Kobe number two, and Kareem number three. Uh, and you know, Kareem might won more championships than, than Kobe Bryant, but I just I just look at it. You know, Kobe just he had way more weapons. He did more with less. Uh, I just feel like Kobe is just a slight bit not, not a knock on Kareem. Like you know, I'm a Laker fan. I absolutely love Kareem Abdul Jabbar, and you know, I think he's one of the greatest. Like I said, he's in my top three. So that shows you what I think of Kareem and I. I had the pleasure to go to a, a Lakers game at Staples Center and then like get to see Kareem. He, he wasn't playing, but he was there. Uh, my wife got me those tickets for my birthday, and I felt like a, a little kid because I was in the same building with Kareem up to Jabbar. So that was a, a certain level of respect I have for Kareem, and even like the, you know, just the things he had to stand for, you know, in, in the time when America was not like it is now. It was way more racism and uh, like divide and like racial divide. And, for him to still be able to do that, come out all through all of that, win six championships, all that just, but you know, he didn't have, uh, he, he, he lost a couple of times. Michael Jordan never lost in the finals. So I can't put Kareem at number one. I think Kobe Bryant was a more skilled basketball player than Kareem, and he had more weapons. He did more with less. But I, 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 I got Kareem number three. I got Michael Jordan number one, uh, Kobe number two, and Kareem number three. So I agree with just about everything Ticket TV said and the very reason that he highlighted why he likes, he prefers Michael Jordan over Kobe Bryant as far as the all-time great list. Um, and that's the same reasons that I got. You know, Kobe was, was, a, was a carbon copy of Michael Jordan. I think he took everything Michael Jordan did and perfected. But Michael Jordan, everything Michael Jordan did was original. When Michael Jordan switched hands in midair, it was because he, in his mind, like he, at that moment, he had to think of to do that. Everything he did, all those shots, those moves he made, were almost spur of the moment. Kobe watched all those come fly, fly with me videos and did all the things Michael Jordan did and made them better. But at the same time, 
Michael Jordan or was the originator of those moves. So those are my thoughts. I got Mike number one, Kobe number two, Zakoko barely a little bit, just a little bit below Michael Jordan, and Kareem number three, a, a little bit under Kobe. Uh, but, but great video, Ticket TV. Y'all go watch that video. I think it's called Is, Is Kobe Better Than Michael Jordan? Uh, and I got to agree with Ticket TV. No, I don't have it at number one, but I have a really close second. All right, Brandon Love Sports TV. This your boy. I am out. Peace.